So this is Crystalline from Baby Audio. And after that quick demo, you probably want to pick up this amazing sounding reverb. So if you want to go ahead and pick it up, just head down to the description below. We'll have some links down there where you can get it for yourself. You know, Baby Audio always does very well on their reverbs. Another one that they have made is called Spaced Out. It is a delay and a reverb in one plugin. Highly suggest you check that one out as well. We already have a full video on Spaced Out, so I'll throw that in the description below. So what is Crystalline, or Crystalline, or Crystalline, however you prefer to say it? Well, it's an algorithmic reverb with a modern twist. So an algorithmic reverb is not trying to duplicate or model a certain space, like a convolution reverb aims to model a certain room, certain space, etc., etc. So we can really customize our reverb sound uh, quite a lot here with all of our included controls. And it's very easy to learn how to use Crystalline because Baby Audio has included tool tips. Just turn that on right over here. Then whenever you hover over something, let's turn this to black for now, hover over any control and right down here, it will tell you exactly what that does. Interface, fully resizable. So let's make this nice and large so we can read our tool tips and go over how our parameters affect our sound. We'll start over here with size, sparkle, and width. Of course, size is the overall size of the reverb. And a really cool thing about Crystalline is you can make a very small size, but then have a very long tail. Again, full customization of the sound that you want. I wanna believe. I wanna believe. Just click and hold and then drag to change these controls. Tiny, medium, small, large, spacey. Then you have a sparkle control, which emphasizes the high frequencies and those reverb reflections. I wanna be free. Again, sounds more ethereal like that. Then you have a width control, pretty self-explanatory, right? Or from a mono reverb to I wanna be free. very, very wide. Then over here we have a cleanup so we can have damping on the low end or the top end. So what we're doing here with the high pass filters, of course, damping that low end reverb so we don't get too much buildup down there. And then same thing for the top end. If it's too chimey or metallic on top, you can pull up your low pass filter to dial out some of that top end. I wanna believe. Dying out the top end. Then you have your sides control, so it filters out stereo content in the low frequencies. Uh, you can kind of, kind of think of it if you've used any plugin alliance plugins, kind of like the mono maker, how you can tighten up that low end so it's not so stereo and then the low end is more mono. Just keeps things from getting too, you know, too muddy. There's not a ton of low end content in this. I wanna believe. But you can clean it up however you want. Then you have a gate, which isn't really going to work here, but you can make a really cool gated reverb sound. Over here, we have our depth. So we have resolution. Um, obviously, more resolution is going to uh, cause more CPU power. So you can take that down if you need to. There's also right up here an eco control. So if it's taking up too much CPU power, just pop that on. That's also going to turn off shimmer automatically and take you down to your uh, your basic resolution, but we have plenty of power here. Put it up on pristine. We have some modulation. Again, just hover over it, tells you what it does. Let's turn this back to black, easier to read. Introduces modulation into the reverb algorithm and it gets kind of chorusy sounding the higher you go. It's a really cool effect. Pull it all the way down. I wanna believe. I 
We'll go all the way to wet. This could make it sound you know, a, a bit thicker, more complex uh, overall. Then you have a shimmer, and that adds a longer decay time to the high frequencies. And with these buttons here, you can choose how much longer do you want the high frequencies uh, to go on versus how, you know, wherever you set your end here. So two times longer, four times longer, or six times longer. This can give it a bit of a halo kind of effect. Then down here is where you choose your cutoff frequencies, either 2K, 4K or 8k of course 2k is going to be more audible I wanna believe or go up to 8k make it six times longer I wanna believe for this i think 2k I wanna be free. four times awesome just bypass that I wanna be free. Back on. I wanna be free. Awesome. Great sounding reverb. Then we have a shape. More controls to again shape your overall space. You have a tone control, which is kind of like a tilt EQ. Essentially, you're you're gonna make everything brighter or darker. Just click and drag. Okay. I wanna be we'll emphasize the top end. And emphasize the low end. I wanna be free. This just helps you really balance things out. If there's too much top end, it's too shimmery overall, just kind of adjust this a bit. Then you have some smoothing effects to attenuate the sharp frequencies of the reverb. Again, very simple control. And then a transients control. Do you want to emphasize the attack or the sustain? Let's go over to attack for now. We'll check these on some other sources in just a second. I wanna believe. I wanna okay, so you hear how that responds. It's coming on. Pull this, uh, we'll put it about there. I wanna Over here, we'll emphasize the sustain in extreme. I wanna believe. I wanna Again, total control of the world, the atmosphere that you want to create. Then you have your basic controls in every uh, reverb. Just put this on milliseconds for now. So the start time and the end time, but a cool thing about crystalline is you can actually sync this to the tempo of your DAW. Again, it just syncs everything up, makes everything sound a bit more natural. But if you want to do it the old way, turn that off, set it in milliseconds, however you want. I wanna so right now we have this set to a quarter note. So the the initial attack, the transient's gonna come through, and then it's gonna start a quarter in, right? I wanna believe. a really long decay time on this so you can have a very short decay time make it even longer I wanna be free. I wanna be free. So that's way more than just what your standard reverb uh, can do. Let's take our end time out a bit, pull our start down just so the initial attack gets through before our reverb starts. I wanna believe. Maybe we'll have a very tiny space. I wanna believe. Very long decay time on that. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll start it out here. I wanna believe. I wanna believe. 
That's pretty cool. Almost like a delay. And then down here, we have even more controls in the output section. So we'll start with our ducker. Yes, ducking is included. Very cool to have this. And what ducking does is it ducks down the reverb signal while that uh, dry signal, in this case, while she is singing. And then in these spaces here, the reverb will come up just like a ducker works with a delay. And you have a uh, gentle option. So increases the uh, release time for a more natural feel. So what does ducking do for those who don't know? Well, let's check it out right here. I'm gonna oversaturate our dry wet right here. Let's take our size back up to large or so. I wanna be free. All right. So if your reverb is overpowering your vocal in this case, we'll pull up ducking here and it will duck that reverb out of the way. And then once she, uh, once she stops singing here, the reverb will come back up. So let's really exaggerate this here on the ducker. I wanna be free. All right, it's ducked way down. Up it comes. We have gentle on right there. If I turned gentle off, it's gonna come up much faster. I wanna be free. There you go. So there's your ducker. Very cool to have that. Let's turn that to about there. Then your overall dry wet, everybody knows what that does. But then you also have reverse and freeze controls, and this is where it gets even cooler. So you can play the reverb in reverse, and you can even freeze it and hold it wherever you uh, want. I wanna believe. Put on the reverse. I wanna believe. Sounds kind of cool. I might use that on something else. Then we'll do the freeze. And on this track, it's going to create sort of an atmosphere whenever I trigger this. This would be something that you might want to do um, you know, with your automation. I want to believe. stop playback it's still frozen it's created like an atmosphere for us so again that'd be really cool to do maybe at the end of this track we turn it off maybe trigger that with automation at the end of a vocal or something I wanna be free. it just continues on All right, cool. So that is all of your controls. Again, interface, freely resizable, black or white, whatever you like. Okay, let's move on to some more samples. You also have, by the way, you have a load default here. If you wanna make, uh, if you wanna go to the, the default setting, you can also you know, set up whatever you wanna set up here and you can make it the default. Uh, so you always open up to your preferred, you know, your preferred settings. If you want, also a bunch of presets in here to check out. All right, let's move on to some more samples here before we close this one out. So here we have a snare. Let me turn on this kick while I'm at it. Turn this off. All right, just a snare. So maybe we could do a gated snare on that. There's a lot of presets in here that we could choose from. Go ahead and turn this on. For your gate, very simple. Your release time and your threshold. Make sure we have our threshold set maybe here. Gate the reverb off. Again, a lot of stuff you can do if you like that gated sound. There is one more control that I didn't mention, and that's the dry wet lock. And this just keeps your dry wet balance wherever you happen to set it. So then you can switch through your, uh, you know, your presets. So for example, if I switch presets here, you can see that my wet goes way, you know, all the way on. If I have it set exactly where I want it, I just wanna audition some different settings, make sure I lock that. Then whenever you switch, it will keep your dry wet right there. 
That's kind of cool. Modulation on that. Two times to put the resolution up. We're going to tilt it. We're low end. Smooth it out. Go to the attack side. Maybe gate it, gate it off. I'm going to let the low end through. And I don't want to damp so much on that. That's cool. Too much overall, of course. Take that down a little bit. Getting it off a little bit. Freeze it. Maybe reverse it. All right, let's move on to a, another sample. Maybe we'll go to guitar here. Start with it bypass. All right. Pop it on. Wider. More sparkle. We have a tiny, tiny size right now. Let's go in here. Maybe we'll grab this change the overall tone. Duck it a bit. It's pretty cool. Gives us kind of an atmosphere around our uh, around our guitar. Clean it up a bit. That's a little better. Reverse. Freeze it. Very cool. Again, craft your space however, uh, however you want. Of course, you can use this on any source that you want. Uh, we have a piano right here. Bypassed for now. Sounds cool. But I want to add a nice atmosphere for this piano. That shimmer on six times at 4K. Modulation, a lot of sparkle, nice and wide. Not really damping anything in this case. Just one of that reverb on the top end. Again, you could damp it off here. Keep some of that low end content mono. Freeze it. Creates a nice ethereal atmosphere now. So another great sounding reverb from Baby Audio. Highly suggest you check out Baby Audio's plugins. I always love their interfaces. They're always, they're always so unique and easy to use and they always sound amazing. And Crystalline does not disappoint at all. So if you wanna pick it up, once again, just head down to the description below. We'll have uh, some links down there where you can pick it up for yourself. I wanna believe I believe 